So you're trying to game on your laptop and you keep getting FPS drops and you see that your temperatures are rising and getting closer to the maximum allowed threshold for thermal throttling. Now I have made a video on how to stop the thermal throttling at the hardware level just up there, you can check it out. But this is how to do it with your fan curve and fan control on a laptop. So let's get started. So first up, if you have a relatively new laptop, check the top row of your keyboard. You should see a fan icon or some sort of a cooling icon, which should help you control the fans like turbo mode, silent mode and standard mode. To do that, you just press the FN key plus the fan key and you should see the pop-up. If you don't see those pop-ups, that means your PC does not have correctly installed software from the manufacturer or if you reinstalled Windows at any stage. To address that issue, you need to go to your manufacturer's website. So in my case, I'll go to Acer and check if there is a software that can control fan and fan curves in general. Now, what if you don't have that fan control key or what if you don't have a relatively newer laptop? For example, I have a model from 2016, which is the Acer VX5-591G, which does not allow you to control the fan in any way. Here is what you can do in that case. You can download an application called Notebook Fan Control, linked in the description. Once you've installed it, open it and see if your model is listed. Now, my model wasn't listed, but I was able to dig out specific numbers for the electronic speed controller which you don't have to bother about and I've created a file so if you have the exact same model or any model in the same series say Acer VX5-XXX then you can use the same file and it should technically work but if it's a different model try to use a similar model or similar manufacturer and that should let you control the fans if required. Now the file that I talk about I will link in the description as well just download it and place it in the folder as shown. Once done you can restart notebook fan control and then go to the fan profile list select the model number now you should see the new file uh, select it and in my case I can only do auto or 100% which is turbo mode. I'll just demo the turbo mode right now You can see it does sound like a jet engine, but it does the job. It keeps the laptop cool if you're doing something really intensive like editing a video or doing any sort of rendering task or you're playing games, anything that puts CPU and GPU under maximum load at the same time. Now that's just for my model. Your model might have fine tune adjustment available by the percentage. So there's that. And, and you can see mine is moving some air right now see this paper just flying off the back and while working with this application if you encounter an error or weird behavior with your system you can just restart your system to get it back to default settings and then go back to notebook fan control and try a different profile see what works for you anyway thanks again for watching drop a thumbs up it really does help out and i'll see you guys in the next one cheers